Hi there, and welcome to my video. I'm so excited to have you here. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. It lets me know to make more videos like this. Today, I am starting with acrylic paints. I usually do start with papers, but I try to mix it up now and then just to get some new ideas or start a different way to try some new techniques. So this is just acrylic paints on heavy mixed media paper. It's about 140 pounds. And I'm just kind of working the paints around and now adding collage papers. When I start to think about what I'm going to do, I try to pick out papers that I feel like either their style goes together or their colors blend. And this one was a little bit of a challenge for me because I feel like they're very different papers. So I wanted to challenge myself to somehow make them work. So this is kind of the pink that goes along with the background, but there are different styles. So it's interesting to challenge yourself like that to see how you could bring them all together, or at least I like to anyway. So this is a layer of gesso. I tend to use gesso to push these papers to the background. Sometimes I feel like they're so in my face, I need to dull them just a little bit, just so I can kind of add some other elements without feeling like they're so obvious. So this is a great technique to get rid of the negative space um, with a stencil. And it creates the stencil kind of backwards, which I love. So that's like an interesting pattern in the background. Just trying to get some layers down to see where this is going to go. This color I'm putting on now is green gold mixed with a little gesso and maybe a little raw umber, a tiny bit, just to kind of make it a little less bright yellow. I love green gold, but sometimes it can be overpowering. So I'm just moving it around the piece, moving it around the paper, seeing what kind of marks I can make, what kind of designs, and trying to kind of bring it together a little bit. Always part of the process is the editing. For me, I love to put paint down and then remove it because <laughs> sometimes it just feels like too much. So this is a piece of deli paper that I printed on with my jelly plate, my favorite way to make collage papers. So if you have not used a jelly plate, I would encourage you to try it out. There's really no way you can mess it up. And this is a stamp that I recently got and I love kind of the wildness of it. Just putting down some layers. That's brown deli paper that I'm just kind of trying to blend some things in so it doesn't feel like such a mishmash. Now this thing that I'm using is bubble wrap. I love using bubble wrap as a stamp. It's really simple. And then when it gets too kind of built up, I throw it away and I cut a new piece. This little design is something I drew on deli paper. Again, I love the transparency of the deli paper. It's so easy to use. And there is my bird. I think it's a crane of some sorts. And I'm putting it on carefully because I did use my inkjet printer to print it out. So I'm putting the medium behind it, a liquid medium, and just gently pushing it down so I don't run the ink on top because then it gets a little messy. This is a little stamp I'm using with some hot pink ink, ink pad. And I love this color, but I felt like it was a little bright. 
on the work. So I'm using a little gesso to just kind of mute it out, blend it in a little, push it to the back. Sometimes when I use stamps, it just feels like they're sitting on top of the paper. And I like to try to incorporate it into a layer. So this is my Micron pen that I love to use for some mark making and details at the end. This one is a dark gray rather than black. And I like the dark gray because it, I don't know, it's just a little less harsh. I like putting a little border on. Just kind of identifies the piece for me. And then adding some stamps. I am using white paint. I'm not using a stamp pad. And more gesso. Just kind of blending that in. I'm all about blending and shading and pushing things a little to the back. I kind of wanted the bird to be front and center. So there she is. And this is just another little collage piece from my deli paper escapades. And then here I am adding my sentiment. Ease. I'm wishing you all ease today. Hoping you feel ease when you see this or do your own artwork. And then just some marks with my Posca paint pens. Identifying that stamp a little more. I love using the Posca pens to make some marks at the end. Just kind of a fun way to finish it off. And there it is our easy bird. You can see the little details there. And I hope you enjoyed watching this. Thank you so much for being a part of this video and watching today. And if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. And you can see many more videos on my channel just like this that will show you how I create mixed media pieces. Have a wonderful day.